All right, White responds with a4, and basically he's just protecting his uh, knight again, which is now hanging because I blocked his path um, between uh, his, his bishop and his knight here. So now he has to defend his knight with another piece, which is uh, the a-pawn. And I respond here with uh, f5, and basically my idea here is that I'm eventually going to put my rook onto uh, the f file, and I'm going to uh, put a check threat onto his king. So I want to get this pawn up and try to uh, force a little exchange here so I can clear that file out and bring my rooks into play on his king, which was my whole idea in the first place when I sacrificed my knight there on f2. He now uh, brings his bishop out, threatens my king. That move doesn't really do much, because I stopped that threat with my g-pawn. He has to move his bishop away, and it's now uh, protecting his king on the uh, f-file. It's not really doing anything else there. Now I'm bringing my knight up. I just want to use my knight to get that into the attack eventually. Pretty much neutralized any threat that black had had on the queen side. So uh, the uh, game is now shifting over here to the king side. Brings his rook over here to g2. Um, not exactly sure why he chose that move, but I'm, I'm sure there's some reasons for that. Bring my rook over here to the uh, f file. And he brings his uh, G pawn up. Now I uh, bring my knight down there to E4. Once again, that's a nice, uh, good, powerful square. Putting him in check, uh, pretty much forcing him to take that. He can move his king, but to leave my uh, knight there on E4 would be ill-advised. So he goes ahead and takes it with his bishop. Now the question is um, which pawn to take his bishop back with. Am I going to take it with my d pawn or my f pawn? Well, obviously my whole plan all along, take it with the f pawn, and uh, that puts a discovered check onto his king. Um, that's great because uh, that, that now allows me to dominate this f file on tempo. Um, Unfortunately, I couldn't really do much else with that tactically, so, but that, that's still good in and of itself. He moves his king out of the way. Now, I move my king up here because there was a fork lurking there with uh, knight to d6. As you can see, d6 would uh, check my king and uh, fork my rook and my queen. So, sure, I had my, uh, my bishop there, at least presently, um, to prevent black from, or pre to prevent white from moving his knight there. But eventually, black's going to make a move with his bishop or another piece to remove my defender, leaving me exposed to that fork threat. So, I'm just going to go ahead and address that now, prophylactically move my king up, prevent that from occurring. Also, that now lets my rooks uh, freely move on the back rank. So, that's going to that's gonna be uh, strategic later. Moves his bishop up. That's exactly what he was going to do if I hadn't moved my king. Um, he was going to move it to uh, d2 and then up to uh, right here to uh, b4 with maybe some other moves in between. Eventually he's going to get that bishop off there and try to fork me. So I've already nullified that threat. Now I move my queen uh, back here to the back rank uh, for, for a couple reasons. I want to be on this diagonal here because there's going to be um, plan on uh, making some moves against this king so I want to do that and also this is going to be very powerful because no matter what I'm going to completely own this back rank. Moves this rook over. Uh, this was this this was not a good move for white because at best he's going to break even here and at worst he's going to leave himself in a, in a bad position so I'm not sure why he chose to do that. I think it's because he is technically up in material right now 
he's actually up an entire uh, piece. He's up a rook. So he's hoping to just exchange down material, and that's how the computer is going to think uh, when it's up. It wants to exchange down material. So that's why it's doing it. So I'm fine with that because he now has to capture back pretty much with his queen. He can take it with his king, but that's going to allow me to bring my rook over on tempo and put him in check. So he's going to capture with his queen. However, fortunately, um, I can move my rook over, and even if my queen wasn't on that back rank, my bishop still would have allowed me to put my rook there. So now, obviously, the queen has to evacuate that file, which she does. She just essentially moves back there to uh, d2 or d1, and you can see how how black is or how white is wasting a tempo um, on that move. All he did was just swapped, uh, allowed me to swap uh, rooks, and uh, still am on tempo. So. Now uh, this is definitely a good move for me because I put my rook here on f3. Now I've broken through his pawn structure. Um, he doesn't have a white bishop, so he cannot threaten my rook with a pawn or a bishop. The only thing he could ever take it with would be his knight, and his knight is completely out of the picture, so I don't have to worry about that. 